Hundreds of students gathered from Hopkinton Middle School for the annual 2.62 mile run or walk as part of the desire to inspire program. Here is a look at some of the sights and sounds of a fun filled day. Another uh, successful year at the track for the 2.62 Desire to Inspire Run and Walk. Uh, what did you think about the event this year? Uh, the event was was awesome. I mean, it's it's uh, it's a it's a true pleasure, um, especially in, in my role. I have the opportunity to uh, watch the teachers uh, do all the planning, and they come to me with their idea as they did last year, which was the the first year that we ran it. And um, and there were there was a lot of logistics involved in it, and a lot of planning. And um, they put a ton of work into this, and to, to see it all come together, um, and just see um, you know the, the special moments for me are you know, the first uh, student that, that that runs across the finish lo finish line is an amazing accomplishment. But there's so many other accomplishments along the way. So, some of the students who um, you know who walked, and and seeing them be able to cross the line, and and it's a major accomplishment for a lot of people in a lot of different ways. So um, that makes all of the time and effort. Uh, I think on the part of the teachers, um, uh, all worth it to, just to see that. I mean, we have, um, as I know, uh, Mary Vera talked to you about uh, the whole child, and uh, we, we academics are, play a, obviously num the number one role. That's why we're here, um, but we focus on the whole child as well. And I think this is a really special moment that brings uh, our entire middle school community together. So I'm I'm thrilled, and the, and added on top of that, the fact that. Um, this year we were able to do it on the first day that we had it planned as opposed to last year which wound up being I think a uh, total of four different dates that we tried to pull this off so it's, it's exciting. Especially with the weather that's been this year. Uh, it seems all the students really come together for this event, they're cheering each other on, it's just a really great atmosphere. This seems to be something that the students look forward to every year. It is. I think it's it's a it's a really special moment. It's unlike any um, school or school event that I've ever been a part of before. There's a there's a real um, there's a, it's just a real community here in Hopkinton and Hopkinton Middle School. I mean, you know, this this isn't possible without um, all the teachers coming up with this idea originally, the support that we're given from the 26.2 Foundation, uh, the HPTA, um, countless others that have that come. You know, we have parents volunteers that. Uh, help Officer Powers and the police officers, the maintenance uh, crew, the custodians, all make this possible. And, and not a lot of people see all that stuff, but it would be impossible without without everybody doing that. And you know, as I said, it would you know it's it's um, from the first student to cross the finish line to the last student to cross the finish line. As you said, it's it's everybody rallying and everybody. I mean, there was just as many cheers. Uh, or there was just a, a, such a, a pronouncement of, of joy for the student who was the last person to cross the finish line as there was for, for the first person to cross. So that's exciting. And I think that's, um, that's the, that to me is the biggest takeaway is how, how much um, this school, this community uh, supports one another and, and, uh, and, and pulls together. Absolutely. The excitement was just here all throughout uh, from the first to the last. But uh, I do want to talk about the first place finisher, Johnny. Uh, very fast, uh, crossed the finish line, I believe, around 17 minutes. And uh, you had uh, Meb Kaflegzi, the 2014 Boston Marathon winner at the middle school recently. And uh, Johnny could challenge Meb's uh, 5K time in his middle school days. Yeah, he definitely. Yeah, Johnny is, Johnny is impressive. It's going to be awesome to watch um, Johnny's uh, you know, high school career and his career beyond high school. I, I think he's got a really exciting and promising future. There's no question about it. He's he's un unbelievable. Uh, and we were we were um, talking about who was going to finish him first. And Johnny's always somebody that we mention. Um, but he 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 had quite a bit of distance between him and and, and the second place uh, uh, in his runner up. Yeah. Yeah, quite unbelievable speed, but uh, the weather today, a little bit cloudy, a little bit gloomy, some moisture in the air, but no rain. Uh, it's not bad conditions. The temperature's right. Uh, what did you think about the conditions out here today? Yeah, I mean, we talked. We talked throughout the week when we looked at the forecast, and uh, we kept monitoring it. Um, my instinct was to, to go with it, and I talked to Miss Pinto, who, as you know, is, is, is really the, 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 the person who leads the, 20, uh, excuse me, the, the uh, Desire to Inspire Committee, and... Um, 
and we both felt with what the forecast uh, was calling for um, that, that those are fine conditions and and you know and now that it's all behind us and we were able to complete it I think I think it was fine I, I, I'm happy that we did it on this day it was a little bit of mist but nothing that you know nothing too difficult or, or um, anything that we had to worry about so it was good all right well another great year another great event and uh, I'm sure it'll be the same next year yeah, and we, and we thank you guys for being here. I think it's really uh, a really nice moment um, for you to be here and be able to capture this and um, to be able to see the excitement that the kids have. And, and, uh, and, I, and I thank HCAM and I thank you for, for, for supporting us in this as well. Well, it's a great program. We certainly love covering it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, we have a few more coming in.